Critical Hits and Fire Emblem have been a staple part of the game since its initial birth. And as iterations of the game grew, Critical Hits have gone through a ton of changes, starting from guaranteed Critical Hits in Fire Emblem 4 with Wrath, Thracia's Crit Multiplier with the PCC, and even in the newer games where you can get 100% Critical Hit with certain skill combinations. But, to longtime fans of the series, whenever Critical Hit is mentioned, there's one face and number that seems to stick above the rest. Rugger is a character that joins your army in Fire Emblem 6. After learning that he is working with Burn, he defects into Roy's army. Thanks to his great bases and harder difficulties, and the early killing edge that he comes equipped with makes him a powerhouse right from the start. Because of this, Rutger is constantly ranked as one of the best characters in Fire Emblem 6 amongst the greats like Melody and Persevel. But the question remains, how does Rutger achieve these crazy levels of critical hits? Fire Emblem 6, despite it being my favorite Fire Emblem game, has a ton of abusable and broken mechanics. For starters, Swordmasters in this game have an innate plus 30 bonus to their critical hit, which later gets nerfed in future iterations of Fire Emblem. The Wodao also makes its debut in Fire Emblem 6, but unlike the future versions of Wodao giving you plus 30 to innate critical hit, Wodao in FE6 gives you plus 40 to your critical hit. So right off the bat, as long as you have a Swordmaster with Wodao, you start off with 70 critical hit. Rucker can also achieve another 25 crit through supports, because of how easy it is to get a support with Clarine and Clarine giving lightning affinity bonuses, Rucker here is able to get 15 crit just from standing next to Penn's daughter. Another 10 crit can be achieved from standing next to Deke, though building any support with Deke may take a while. If you do not care about turn count though, you can achieve beast support with Deke in a single map. I just hope that you have an emulator to help you speed through this process. But with the supports and innate bonuses from being a swordmaster that's able to wield the Wo Dao, you're able to get up to 95 crit as long as the enemy has zero luck. The remaining 5% is patched up with Rucker's high skill, which in normal playthroughs you'll cap at 29. With all this in mind, here's the formula for determining critical hit in Fire Emblem 6. Skill divided by 2, plus the weapon's crit, plus support bonuses, plus class bonuses. So, Rucker's skill, 29, divided by 2, rounded down, is 14. With Wodao equipped, you get an additional 40 crit. The support gives you an additional 25 as long as Clarine and Deke are nearby. And finally, Swordmasters having the natural crit bonuses gives you a total of 109 crit. But because enemies in Fire Emblem 6 randomly have a luck stat generally at 7, the 109 crit usually comes down to 102% crit. If you do the grind and don't care about turn count, you can do this as early as Chapter 9 in Fire Emblem 6 as long as you recruit Fur for her Wodao. But why is the number 102 so significant? Fire Emblem's display usually caps out at a value starting at 0 to 100. Even if our chance to hit is at a 300% chance, the display will show as a value of 100. Or, for instance, in Theracia 776, characters like Fergus can reach a critical hit of 300 thanks to PCC Multiplier, but the game doesn't care. The display will show as 100 no matter what. But hey, at least it's still a guaranteed critical hit, right? However, for some reason, whether it was a coding oversight, Rucker, Fur, and to an extension Corel are the only characters in Fire Emblem to be able to break 100 critical hit by display. So, by display standards, the Fire Emblem 6 Swordmasters stand above the rest as the critical hit gods and goddesses in the entirety of the Fire Emblem franchise. This has been JEIK. Thanks for watching.